Nigeria's Ministry of Health plans to borrow 82 billion to buy mosquito nets. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A member of the Senate Committee on Health, Geshem Bathy, on Tuesday opposed the move by the ministry during the 2022 budget defense of the Federal Ministry of Health. Now the news in detail. The Nigerian Senate has condemned the proposal by the Federal Ministry of Health to borrow $200 million, approximately $82 billion, $70 million, naira, 76 kobo under the malaria program to buy mosquito nets in the 2022 budget. A member of the Senate Committee on Health, Geshem Bassi, on Tuesday opposed the move by the ministry during the 2022 budget defense of the Federal Ministry of Health. Bassi told the Permanent Secretary, Mamuda Maman, that the proposal with respect to borrowing 200 million, about 82 billion naira at official exchange rate of 410 naira to a dollar to purchase mosquito nets was outrageous considering the amount involved. The committee's condemnation was in response to the permanent secretary earlier submission of the intention to borrow the set amount for the purchase of mosquito nets. The panel further demanded the total needs of the agency to ascertain if there was a need for borrowing. Meanwhile, the executive director of National Primary Health Care Development Agency, NPHCDA, Faisal, Faisal Shuaib, had said the $200 million was for importation and local production of mosquito nets. Committee Chairman on Health and the Senate, Senator Ibrahim Oliribi, in his reaction, said the idea of borrowing money from World Bank is money and job for the boys by somebody in Washington, D.C. Now, is this not alarming? $200 billion. $200 billion. Two hundred billion dollars. I have to repeat it again and again and again for the purchase of mosquito mosquito nets. Malaria kills people very, very much, and yet <laughs> it has not stopped. Now, such money would be channeled into the um, health sector. The health sector is lacking so many facilities, in fact. This particular money could be channeled into the health, fact, health um, sector and they are going to watch how it is going to change and improve the lives of Nigeria. Many people have died because of lack of medical equipment and facilities in our federal general hospitals or in our state government hospital. And why does this money, in, in, this money now is not channeled to that place? At least let, let it be felt. That all round health, if you go to the hospital, things that you expect to see there will be there. Things that on a norm, it is not supposed to be there and people could die because let it be there. Instead of channeling the money to buy just mosquito nets alone, 82 billion, not one, not two. A lot of comments are flying over here and there and people are beginning to comment that the world is 7 billion. How come you need 82 billion for just the purchase of nets in Nigeria. It is so absurd and outrageous. This is so annoying. People are going to start asking if that particular minister who presented this, <laughs> I mean, of course, it is going to be opposed. I'm going to say this this is what happened when you pick someone that is not, the person does not marry the position. The person did not marry the position. He or she is not doing well so that he or she can be retained because he or she knows that he or she did not come in through hard work. Anyone that comes in through hard work and has the best interest of the, the ministry as hard work will, will not suggest this. I tell you, the person will look for a more effective cost, I mean, a more cost effective um, solution. If malaria now has now become the present priority of the Federal Minister of Health to eradicate, then I'm telling you the person is going to suggest a more cost-effective 
um, issue solution. Rather than this, spending $200 million on just mosquito nets. The thing is, some of the mosquito nets that were shared by state governments, this particular um, issue or um, ch uh, challenge has been done by some state governments. And people are beginning to say, look, I have, I have in my house, I have not even used. People are saying, I have not even used. Come and take the one I have. No need to borrow. Now, this is what happened. It is absurd. Do you know what 82 billion will do for the health sector? Do you know what 82 billion will do for the security, the instability of security in Nigeria? Do you know what 82 billion, if, you know, used for infrastructural development will build? Do you know what 82 billion will, will do if it is used to build factories and areas where people can work that can create jobs for our citizens? Do you know what it will do yet? $200 million has been projected for just the purchase of mosquito nets. Why does it seem like this government, you know, they feel like the electorates are fools? Yes. They feel they can play on the intelligence, on our intelligence. This is not right. It is in every way wrong. I'm telling you. It is in every way wrong. Until we get leaders that are not our favorites. Leaders that are not in any way our brothers and sisters. Leaders that they are not connected to us in any way. That will not bring religion. That is going to stand very neutral. That is when we are going to get people that really want to move this country higher. Because um, you cannot say as a person, as a president or as a minister, you have the interest of Nigerian hearts and you pro and you bring out such a bill. It is not done. It is not done at all. Except there is more to it, but um, it is not. It is not supposed. This particular issue, it is very laughable, laughable indeed, very very laughable. It is so unfortunate. It is unfortunate that these are the people we find in our various government offices. Why I keep saying that it is not just the government alone, the electorate. How do you live your life, as a as a ordinary man? How do you live your life? Do you cheat on the government? Do you cheat in your in the place of business? Do you do a lot of things? Do you what do you do? If you are given a contract now to do a particular road, do you knowing that these particular people will do it well? And just because if you give it to another person who will not do it properly, they are going to give you a higher percentage. Will you call those people? A lot of things have to be considered because at the end of the day, the electorate will become those in power. And what do you see? You see, it will be like a recycle of old leaders. That is why you need to correct this particular issue.